Well, firstly, I've got to say that the guy on the cover is really cool. Uh, but what's inside is even cooler. I mean, this is my third book with Penguin, and I'm very proud of it again, because um, I've been living in Australia for 14 years, and what I hear from the Aussies is French food, it's complicated, you've got to be in the kitchen for hours, it's expensive, and so on. There's all recipes there, French for everyone, great recipes, easy, Monday to Friday. You can find all the ingredients in normal shops, and I tell you what, you will cook French forever. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make crepes um, and I think my favorite one is actually served with a lemon. I need uh, 200 ml of milk and then into this I crack two eggs. Into this I put three uh, teaspoons of sugar. I'm also going to put a vanilla bean, so I'm just going to cut it in half lengthways and then what you do is you take the back of the knife and scrape the seeds out like this. Kids, don't throw it in a bin, just put it in a jar with some sugar and then that you'll have a vanilla flavored sugar later on. So just a whisk and that's the base. Now to thicken the batter obviously flour. What I need to do is put 125 grams of flour into the milk. So sieve it and as you sieve it, you whisk it. And basically it just needs to be thick like um, thick and cream or a little bit less than that. Well, there's two more things I'm going to add to this batter. It's a little bit of butter which I'm going to melt and a bit of rum. The rum really makes this crepe mix uh, very special. Not too much but just enough to, uh, to have a little bit of the alcohol infused. And then obviously I'm just going to pass it through a sieve again just to make sure there's no lumps whatsoever. And all I'm doing is melting a little bit of butter, which I'm going to add to uh, the batter, the butter to the batter. So every time you make the pancakes, it doesn't stick to the pan. Put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes, just to relax a bit. Let's get the batter out of the fridge. It's not too thin, not too thin. And then I'm just getting a little bit of butter. I need to use a non-stick pan, put a bit of the butter in here, and you just swirl it around. So all you have to wait is for the edges to start uh, turning gold, and uh, then it's a sign for you to turn it over on the other side. It only takes a couple of minutes. All those bubbles start to form, starts unsticking the sides. See how it starts to get golden there? And don't be scared to use your fingers, it's not that hard, just pull. Cook it on the other side for another 30 seconds. So that's what you want. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, golden. And then repeat the process until all the batter has been cooked. And you can start making your lemon sauce. And it's really, really easy. You just put a bit of sugar in the bottom of the pan with a little bit of water. And basically what I'm doing here is a caramel. So I'm waiting for this uh, to turn to a beautiful uh, golden brown. Of course it's sugar, so it's quite sweet and I'm go just gonna pour some lemon juice in it and then you're gonna balance the acidity and the sugar together, a little bit of zest, pouring over the crepes, voila. So let's place the crepes on plates. Fold them in, in fours like this. The sugar is not far, so I'm just juicing some lemon. Just waiting for this to turn around the corner, to get a beautiful golden caramel. I think this is it. It's just nice and yellow and gold. And then the lemon juice, some lemon zest, just to finish it. And I know it's a really easy recipe, and I tell you what, this is to die for. Mmm, perfect, bon appétit.